Welcome everyone to the MKS Academy. I'm Charles Darty, your host and owner of Red Fern Dynamics. This video we will be reviewing some of the key features of the inside of our MKS units. So straight away you will notice the mechanical wall to the left of the full sink package, which is built into the front wall of the unit. This mechanical wall is flush with the face of the sink cabinet and is part of the frame of the trailer as is the sink base. It is also a separate compartment from the rest of the trailer. The mechanical wall is divided into several sections including the 240 120 volt panel, 12 volt switches with room for expansion, 120 volt switches for lights and all of your air handling equipment, 12 volt access panel, followed by the air intake vent and the LP and carbon monoxide detector. When we open the access panel door, you will see the converter and the 12 volt fuse block. When we open the main power panel, you will see the 20 amp breakers and the main breaker shutoff. You will receive a file that lists the breakers and receptacle locations so that you can properly label the panel based on your equipment set that you install. Our mobile kitchen shelves are designed for future additions. Here is a fully built out mechanical wall showing some of the options that you can add, including your fire suppression emergency pull handle, a fuel gauge for your generator, a remote start for your generator, more 12 volt switches for say your water pump or hot water heater, and 120 volt switches for additional equipment sets that you may have. Moving to the water system, you can see the hand wash station, which includes its proper splash guards, a soap dispenser, a paper towel dispenser, as well as the proper signage. We install a premium large three bay sink with double drain boards. It comes with the proper signage as well. A pre rent sprayer can easily be added. Moving through the unit, you can see the trim tray along the full perimeter of the trailer. This gives us access to the 12 volt system as well as locating the wall studs if you choose to add an additional shelf or something on your walls. You can see that we place at least one GFCI outlet up high at the window for your point of sale system and future air curtain if needed. This is the 12 volt switch for your concession lights and there is room adjacent for an electric awning switch with the proper wiring already installed inside the wall. Below are additional GFCI outlets for future equipment. As we pan out a little bit, you can see the typical window, which has a fixed center glass and the left and right side open for an order and pickup location. Panning down, you will see additional GFCI outlets as well as proper vents for future refrigeration equipment. Panning out a little bit, you can see all of the other GFCIs properly located as well as other vents for future refrigeration. You will also notice the window in the door along with its door chain. 